It's the number one thing we knew we had to get right. It's the first thing we ever worked on in terms of building a Spider-Man game. It's all come together from like prototype space to now you really get that sense of speed with the visual effects that are there. Instantly we pick up the controller, but over time you start to see the complexity, you start to see the depth. And where you start doing parkour over elements that might be in your way and for swinging in the air. And so R2 throws out a line, searches through the environment to find that attach point, or you can actually steer it to do quick turns. Um, and they attach to buildings as well and pull you in a particular direction. Once you, you know, you slam into a building, you just keep running up, pressing near the top of the building, it'll kind of catapult you, will keep that rhythm and flow of your of, of traversal going. It doesn't make sense that you would just be stuck up there waiting to fall, right? You're Spider-Man, and so you can actually sort of throw a line down, get get a pull down into the building line. Yeah, so yeah. the L3 button actually sends you to a, a free fall dive, and that's one of the ways to get a lot of momentum pretty quickly. A particular um, environment object, like a lamppost or something like or, that. Yeah, lamppost, water mm -hmm. towers, different signs in the city. You can chain together. That X button will throw you off of that perch with, again, yeah. a boost of momentum. As you level up through the game, you gotta feel like Spider-Man more than you've ever done before. It's all about feeling like Spider-Man. It's, it's delivering that fantasy of, I'm swinging through this concrete jungle gym of New York City, and I'm doing it with speed, style, flow, fluidity, and a little bit relaxing. Like some people, you know, hey, I'm just gonna go for a run because it actually calms me down. I imagine just wanna swing around the city because it's just, that's what he does.